Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will discuss uh, the stage wise management of endometrial cancer. Okay, we have different stages of endometrial cancer, and each stage is managed in a different way. Okay, so let us talk about the stage one. Okay, so what happens in stage one? As all of you know, that uh, the stage one is the type of the tumor in which uh, the tumor is basically confined to the uterus only. So this is the uterus. Only in the uterus we have the um, tumor. So that is stage one. Okay, that is another thing that in one a we have uh, less than fifty percent of myometrial involvement, and in one uh, b we have more than fifty percent of myometrial involvement. But the main thing which you have to remember is that stage one is a type of the endometrial cancer in which the tumor is confined to the uterus only. Okay, so this is what I was uh, going to explain it to you that in one a we have less than fifty percent of myometrial invasion. In one b we have more than fifty percent of myometrial invasion. So how to manage stage one a and one b? That is another question. So in one a in which the uh, tumor is confined to less than 50 percent half of the endometrium is involved what we do in that case we do tah plus bso total abdominal hysterectomy plus bilateral salpango ophorectomy okay and the survival rate is 80 to 90 percent okay so let us talk about 1b what we do in that case in 1b uh, in addition to th and bso we do one another thing that is arjun radiotherapy okay so if we have uh, the cancer the tumor involved more than 50 percent means reaching up to 100 percent or whatever in stage 1b not only we remove the uterus but also we give radiotherapy to the patient and that is not the common type of the radiotherapy it is the adjunct radiotherapy okay so important note about the adjunct radiotherapy is that it is given in high risk patients okay so not only in 1b we consider it for grade 3 cancer also in deep myometrial invasion okay so if we have the myometrium involved okay so endometrium myometrium parametrium the end of deep myometrial invasion is there we go for adjuvant radiotherapy a or adjuvant radiotherapy grade 3 okay deep myometrial invasion okay and cervical extension okay if the cervix is also involved okay so that is the case in which we go for adjunct radiotherapy okay and also serous or clear cell histology okay so just think about these conditions grade 3 cancer deep myometrial invasion cervical extension serous or clear cell histology these are the types of tumors these are the types these are the uh, basically the conditions in which we go for the archer radiotherapy okay now coming to the stage two in stage two the tumor goes beyond uterus okay not only uterus is involved but also the cervix the cervical stroma okay so that is the cervical stroma the cervical stroma involvement indicates the stage 2 endometrial cancer remember this thing now how would you manage the stage 2 endometrial cancer the treatment is by radical hysterectomy plus bso okay we radically remove the uterus radical removal plus bso we also removes the we also remove the ovaries okay and for that we give the pelvic lymph adenectomy we do pelvic adenectomy and adjunct radiotherapy 
okay uh, as i have told you here that in um, this adjuvant radiotherapy is given in case of the deep myometrial invasion and cervical extension so this cervical extension is basically stage two remember this point that in stage two also we go for the adjuvant radiotherapy okay so not the common hysterectomy is done the radical hysterectomy is done along with the bso and additional things include the pelvic lymphadenectomy but up to 60 to 70 percent now this um, screenshot is from abm book okay and in that there is special thing written about stage 2 that stage 2 disease could be treated the same as stage 1 disease by total laparoscopic hysterectomy plus bso or total abdominal hysterectomy plus bso sometimes there is obvious uh, cervical stroma involvement on imaging the treatment options are modified radical hysterectomy or radical hysterectomy with pelvic lymph adenectomy Piver 3. Okay, so what is the difference between Piver 2 and Piver 3? That is also a very important question in exam. Okay, so when we only do modified radical hysterectomy, so that is the basically the Piver 2. Okay, but if along with the radical hysterectomy, the pelvic lymph adenectomy is done, that is Piver 3. Okay. Or TH plus BSO with a pelvic lymph adenectomy followed by the post-operative radiotherapy. Okay, so these are very important points. However, lymph adenectomy and radiotherapy do not carry the additional morbidity of lymphedema which can develop over the treatment. That is also important. Now coming to the stage 3. Okay, so in stage 3, we have local or regional spread of the tumor. Okay, local or regional spread of the tumors along with the uh, uterus and cervical stroma. So, we further divide the stage 3 into 3A, 3B and 3C. C is further divided into 1 and 2. Okay, so what happens in stage 3A? In stage 3a the tumor invades the uterine stroma okay the uterine stroma is in, invaded along with the adnexa okay so stage 3 involves this area the uterine stroma along with the adnexa this is the adnexal area so the tumor goes here along with the uterus and cervical stroma so how would you manage the stage 3a for stage 3a we will go for new adjuvant chemotherapy new adjuvant chemotherapy followed by radical hysterectomy okay so unlike stage 2 when we uh, in stage 2 what we did in stage 2 we did hysterectomy after that we gave adjuvant radiotherapy but here the condition is a bit different we go for new adjuvant chemotherapy okay this is not the radiotherapy this is the chemotherapy which is done in case of stage 3 okay 3a sorry so we do we give the uh, new adjuvant chemotherapy after that we do hysterectomy okay and the same thing as we do in stage 2 like uh, uh, lymphadenectomy adjuvant radiotherapy uh, and additional thing is this infracolic mantactomy this is uh, we didn't do this thing in case of the stage 2 but here we are doing the infracolic mantactomy okay so I would tell I would like to tell you again in stage 3a the cervical stroma is involved so what happens we uh, give almost the same treatment as we did in stage uh, 2 um, except except two things first is that we uh, give new adjuvant chemotherapy before going for hysterectomy okay and along with the radical hysterectomy um, we go for infracolic mantactomy as well and then uh, adjunct radiotherapy is the same as we did in stage 2. In stage 3b, stage 3b is a type of the cancer which invades the vagina or parametrium. 
okay vagina and parametrum is involved in case of the uh, 3b okay so this is vagina and parametrum so both are involved parametrum is this one and vagina is this one okay so what we do in that case only chemo radiation from 3b onward we usually go for chemo radiations okay 3c1 positive pelvic lymph nodes 3c2 positive para aortic lymph nodes with or without positive pelvic lymph nodes both are treated by chemo radiations now coming to stage 4 in stage 4 the bladder is involved the bladder okay and also the bladder mucosa is involved basically and also the bowel mucosa is, is involved okay the bladder mucosa the bowel mucosa these are all involved in um in case of the stage four stage four this is the stage four bladder bowel mucosa and or distance metastasis okay so what happens in stage four a in stage 4a there is invasion of the bladder and bowel mucosa in stage 4b the intra abdominal metastasis or inguinal lymph nodes are there stage 4 is treated by chemo radiations about 10 to 20 percent of the chemo radiations okay now um, let's move to the summary of whatever we we described okay so management of ca and metrium coming to the management of ca endometrium what we do in stage one the tumor is confined to the uterus okay and in 1a less than 50 percent of myometrium is involved th plus bso in 1b more than 50 percent of myometrium is involved th plus bso plus adjunct radiotherapy this is what i explained it to you okay now uh, important note that we told you before these are basically summary points that uh, <clears throat> adjunct radiotherapy is given in the high risk patients high risk patients include those with the grade 3 c endometrium deep myometrial invasion cervical extension serous or clear cell histology now stage 2 tumor invades the cervical stroma Okay, in that case, we do radical hysterectomy plus BSO plus pelvic lymphadenectomy plus adrenaline radiotherapy. Okay, now stage 3, local or regional spread of the tumor in 3A invades the uterine serosa or adnexa. Okay, we do new adjunct chemotherapy followed by radical hysterectomy plus pelvic lymphadenectomy plus uh, infracolicomentectomy plus adjunct radiotherapy okay and in 3b which invades the vagina or parametrium we uh, give chemo radiation okay in stage 3c1 positive pelvic lymph nodes are involved we do chemo radiation in 3c2 positive pelvic and paraortic lymph nodes are involved with or without positive pelvic lymph nodes and um, that is also treated by the chemo radiations okay now coming to the stage four the last stage bladder and bowel mucosa involved or distance metastasis chemo radiations the treatment okay so further division of the stage four is in 4a in which we have invasion of the bladder and bowel mucosa 4b intra abdominal metastasis and or inguinal lymph node okay so thank you so much that was all about the c endometrium uh once again i would like to tell you about staging a little bit okay so stage one only uterus 1a less than 50 percent of myometrial involvement 1b more than 50 percent of myometrial involvement that is stage one in stage two cervical stroma is involved okay in stage three parametrium is involved okay and sur area surrounding the um uterus is involved okay and in stage four we have bladder and bowel mucosa involved bladder and bowel mucosa involved and our distance metastasis okay so that was about staging okay and the treatment i have explained it to you okay thank you so much that was a little bit description about say endometrium we will meet again with the different video and with a different presentation for you okay thank you so much allah Hafiz.